animations. Funky Friday has a lot of them, ranging from the craziest and most unique animations to the more general ones. There is an animation for everyone to enjoy, but with more and more mods coming out, these are the top 7 animations that we need in Funky Friday. Make sure you guys smack that like if you agree with this list, subscribe and use star code ATTACK, and let's get on with the show. Number 1, Taiyi Animation vs Cyber Sensation. Not only should this mod deserve to come to Funky Friday, but the animation itself would be one of the best additions to the floating slash flying types as well. In the last Hope song where you go up against Taiyi, she can be seen floating in mid-air while her holographic control panels surround her, equipping her with insane command abilities. This animation is essentially a mix between the lab and Amore animations combined into one, which really shows the true power of Taiyi in the coding world. Funky Friday could include the option of having the command panels custom colored to the arrow colors that the players can choose, which would add a degree of customization. That would be a great addition for it. We could see this animation go anywhere between 1000 to 1300 points if it ever comes into the game. It is not going to be a cheap one by any means necessary. Number 2 Cable Crow Animation vs Zardy Phase 2. This was an animation that a lot of the community was looking forward to, but were a bit disappointed that it never came. In Phase 2 of vs Zardy, we could see Cable Crow make an appearance and this could actually turn into a great animation opportunity for the mod. Ideas for this animation includes turning the Roblox avatar into a customizable scarecrow on a pole, which includes the user's Roblox items, but on a pole just like Cable Crow. This would not only be unique, but be very faithful to the original animation design as well. Though the animation does not have a lot of movement, the focus needs to be shifted towards customization via items in order to make it interesting. Due to this, the price of the animation could go for a hefty 900 to 1200 points depending on the complexity of the coding and the animating process. Again, it was an animation that a lot of us were looking forward to, but hopefully we can see it happen in the future. Number 3, Jeebus Animation vs Jeebus Madness Combat. This one deserves some recognition, though it isn't a very well-known mod. From the Madness Combat Realm, the Jeebus animation from the Vs. Jeebus demo would be a great addition to Funky Friday along with the mod itself. Jeebus is short for Jebediah Kristoff and is the tertiary antagonist of the Madness Combat series. He is able to control the microphone telepathically and has a floating halo above his head as well. We could see some cool movement with this animation in Funky Friday, especially with the additions of that halo and the microphone turning into whichever color the players pick with their custom arrow colors. This animation could go anywhere between 700 to 1000 points because it doesn't seem to be super complex to code in, though I could be wrong. I'm no coder. Number 4, Recontainment Animation versus Site or SCP Foundation. This mod has a lot of awesome animations to choose from, but the most notable would have to be from the second song of the mod, Recontainment, where the boyfriend and the girlfriend goes up against three armed SCP guards. This one is self-explanatory, but the Roblox player would be the middle figure wielding the SCP ID card in hand and wearing night vision goggles above on the head. This would be similar to the expurgation animation in which they had dummy models pop up from the ground, but this one would be easier as there wouldn't be as much movement to them. Not only that, but the SCP mod would be a great addition to the game as well. This animation would have a high price of around 1000 to 1300 points, though due to the extra models required for coding and rendering. Number 5, Ringmaster Animation versus Erratic Ringmaster. Another pretty popular mod that could come into Funky Friday, but the animation is what we're looking at here, more specifically the concept of the animation as a whole. In this mod you battle the Erratic Ringmaster where he is a demon spring ringleader. This concept could be unique to Roblox in which the Roblox avatar would be modeled on top of a spring and the players could act and play as the ringmaster. This would be really awesome to see and yes, you'd still be able to use your Roblox items too. Again, another pretty expensive animation because this would require a lot of work, but we could see this go anywhere between 900 to 1200 points as a fair asking price range. Number 6, Monokuma Animation versus Monokuma. 
This mod totally deserves some love, but the animation concept is something I've never seen before in the FNF community. In this mod, you go up against a stuffed bear named Monokuma that is sitting in a judge chair from court. The whole background actually looks like a court, though it is a school of some sorts. Throughout the mod, Monokuma is seen in that judge chair, and this could be a really cool animation to be added into Funky Friday as well. Basically, the Roblox avatar would be shrunk into the size of Monokuma and be put into a 3D mild judge chair as they perform the necessary animations in game. It's kind of like the parent's animation, but it would just be you instead in a wooden chair. Not only that, but the Roblox avatar would be half corrupted as well, just like Monokuma is, which would add a little bit more to the animation as well. This would be a cool concept, not sure how difficult it will be in producing it, but I could see this animation go for around 900 points, considering the uniqueness of it. Number 7, Crow Animation, Mod Nefarious. This mod came out a while ago, but it does have a a really cool customization concept that we could easily see be integrated into Funky Friday. And this one you go up against Crow who was a villain that kidnapped the girlfriend. Crow seems to be wearing a homemade mecha armor suit that contains a cool concept of color changing whenever he misses his notes. You kind of see where I'm going with this, huh? Basically, Funky Friday could develop a 3D modeled suit in which the Roblox avatar could wear that suit and will be able to change the same custom colors that the player has chosen for their custom arrows. They could even go a step further and add a decal option for the logo on the helmet if they so wish to do so. This could become one of the most customizable animations in the game which would be absolutely insane. Due to the possibilities, it's hard to put a good price range on this one. If they don't add any customizations to it, it could have a base price range between 600 to 900 points, but if they fully load it with the decal options and custom colors options as well, this could easily be one of the most expensive animations in the game. A whopping 1,200 to 1,500 points which would be crazy. So if they ever add this animation into the game, you guys better be grinding because this isn't going to be a cheap one at all. I do have some honorable mentions as well, such as the Necromancer animation from the Versus Crashers boss rush. That could go for around 1,000 plus points because it is a cool flying animation. The Void animation from Versus Void, another cool animation, especially in his up pose where he floats up in the air. This could go anywhere between 700 to 900 points as well. And of course, the Nonsense animation from the Nonsense mod. They could add some more movement to it with the yellow glowing eyes but this can go anywhere between 600 to 900 points as well. Those are the top 7 animations that we need in Funky Friday, some of the most unique ones and also highly customizable animation concepts we could see. If you agree with our list, make sure you guys smack the like so the developers can see this. Don't forget to subscribe as well for more videos. You start go to tag and we'll see you all in the next one.